I come to the TT to enjoy myself, have a good time, obviously win if I can. I don't think there's any more pressure on me. Um, you know, I think the pressure's now on everyone else to try and catch up to what we did last year. We've still got a bit of time. You know, I've got we've got a couple of months to get going. We've got a bit of a, a testing schedule. Just need to get the lads on and keep going round and round. You know, we'll see. We'll just get stuck into the to some sort of program after in the next couple of weeks, and if we get the bike fitness up and the strength up. Maybe do some racing. Uh, just have a look at what we can and can't do, you know, BSB probably not, but I can go and do a uh, club race, you know, get on the start line with some, some other riders, you know, and uh, just get that feeling of what it's like to be on a grid again and, you know, but we did Macau in November, you know, Macau for me was a big turning point in the job, you know, to stand on the start line again in 30 degrees and, and do a 10 lap, you know, a tw uh, yeah, 10 lap race out in, in Asia in the heat as well, so, and I slept on that over the winter knowing that there was still a little bit of magic left. I actually, I did okay. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to get stuck into it this next leading up to the TT, and then uh, see what happens. It's going to be it's going to be a tough order to to try and actually topple what we did last year. Uh, a win at all four major internationals. I, I believe I'm right in saying I'm the only person in history to actually win all four events in the same year. So we need to try and replicate that, and hopefully make sure it's a superbike every time out. But we're going to turn up. We're going to enjoy ourselves like we always have done, uh, and try and win as much as we can when we can.